have witnessed their capacity for greatness. They know that in any draft, there are calms between storms. There are days when their league mates turn against them. But the day will never come when they forsake their fantasy draft and the quest for ultimate glory. Rankings, sleepers, breakouts, values. Together at last, united within the ultimate draft kit. The ultimate draft kit no, stands ready, fuck? waiting, okay. watching, I protecting, know. and making your opponents look like stupid, dumb, dumb idiots compared to you and your magnificently hot roster. Will you use it to build your team and win a championship? I do not know, but yes, you probably should. The time for courage and world domination is now at ultimatedraftkit.com. Welcome to the Fantasy Footballers Podcast with your hosts, Andy Holloway, Jason Moore, and Mike Wright. Wednesday, August 17th, the Fantasy Footballers Podcast, Mike the Fantasy Hitman Wright, Jason Moore, Andy Holloway here, Chilo. <laughs> oh, off to a good start, <laughs> Chilo, everybody. So much to talk about on today's episode of the show, I want to thank the Foot Clan, for making us the number one sports podcast in the world right now. Mm, that's, that's pretty cool. That's the the, the power of fantasy football. Uh, we are always, you know, when we're talking to people about what we do, we always say the reality, which is you could be doing, you could be people from completely different walks of life, doing completely different jobs, different backgrounds, different whatever. Mm-hmm. What? But if you notice one person in the elevator mentioned something about, like, your fourth round value at quarterback, you have common ground. Oh, yeah. You know. They're one, they're one of us. You're one of them. It's basically Fight Club. That's that's what it is. Sure. You see a couple bruises and you go, okay, yeah, we're in together. I know what together. you're about. Yeah, we're in this together. Even I will, <laughs> my ears will perk up. Like, I avoid small talk. Ooh, but you're tempted. It's the bubonic plague. But if people start talking fantasy, I'm like, huh? <laughs> I mean, step one is I judge them harshly. As well, they a, probably said something stupid. As a professional yeah. in, in the industry. But then I let them continue talking and, and don't join the conversation. <laughs> right, right. But you get close, <laughs> yeah, which yeah. is the best well, you think, can do. I consider it. The temptation is real. <laughs> All right, uh, what else is going on? We have the very special Ultimate Draft Kit for Life giveaway. We will be dishing out a, a UDK for life on Friday during a very special live stream, which you can catch uh, by going to ballerslive.com. We'll be on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook. The way you enter, you pick up the 2022 UDK at ultimatedraftkit.com. You want to be Optimus primed for this draft? Um, oh, I see what you're uh, yeah. there. Thank you. Um, Thank you, computer. Uh, yeah, look, this is this is the time. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of you, you're going to get this draft kit the day of your draft. You're going to be like, oh, man, but let's go. That's great. It'll work. But if you get it right now, not only are you entered into the ultimate draft kit for life giveaway, but you get a little bit more time for the extra research, the video profiles, all the information and the toilet time that is outrageously great. Yeah, there's more than meets the eye inside the UDK. Uh, we've... <laughs> You can find us on Twitter at the FF Ballers. I encourage you to follow the main account there and be updated with all the articles. We have a great team of writers putting out content each and every week to help your uh, to help your team throughout the season. You can follow Jason at Jason FFL, Mike at FF at FF Hitman. I'm at Andy Holloway. The quick question of the day. I mean, we're talking about a number of things on today's show, but tight ends, where our rankings are. You know, this is a position where if you hit, it makes a huge difference. Like it does. I don't know if I like 
any feeling more in fantasy than when I have a superior advantage at the tight end position going into the week because it just kind of gives you buffer for the variance that by, that's natural, right? Like wide receivers, Jason talks about it all the time. They're all kind of inconsistent. You, you might have a great big name on your roster, but Jefferson might not get in the end zone and he might go 6 for 60 this week and you don't get the power. But if you have that tight end, that difference maker at tight end, it just... In eight years, there's been plenty of times. There's not a lot that you can bank on there. Basically, he they said they're going to give him snaps to impact the game. That's been the comments about Taysom Hill. So that could be, they said wide receiver, special teams, tight end, just snaps to impact the game. And if that, look, that can be defined any way you want. <laughs> the head coach can put him in for six snaps a game and say that he impacts the game on those snaps. So, yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody's drafting Taysom Hill. If you have a depth chart issue in New Orleans at tight end and he becomes more prominent snap-wise, then, then you're paying attention. All right, let's talk more news. News and notes from around the league. Zach Wilson successfully underwent knee surgery on Tuesday. All right. He's deemed a success. They trimmed uh, his meniscus. So the timeline, um, they are saying... Is